We are using wood for many different purposes for construction, pulp and paper. Then we have, on the other hand, storage organs for agriculture. For example, potato, carrot, cassava, and now more recently to energy, we make biofuels. And now that the forests are acting as, as major carbon sinks on Earth, so this, uh, the growth is becoming to a spotlight. So it's important to be able to engineer uh, and, and breed trees that are growing very fast and which are acting very efficient carbon sinks, uh, which are then reducing the harmful greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Uh, so the wood uh, originates from the vascular cambium. The vascular cambium is a thin layer underneath the bark. And even though it's a thin and, and microscopic, it's able to produce all the wood that we can see in, in the trees and, and all the forest that we are, we are around in the forest. So we think it's, it's very important uh, to understand how it functions. But surprisingly, very little is known how it functions. So my laboratory identified the stem cells of vascular cambium and how they are regulated. Stem cells are very central in, in biology in general. So in both plants and in animals, all the growth originates from the stem cells. Stem cells can divide and they can program the daughter cells to differentiate to different cell types. So therefore it's also very important to understand this in the vascular cambium. In the work published in Nature, we solved near 150 year old debate on the origin of the vascular cambium. We also showed that when the vascular cambium is first established, its stem cells originate from the cells located adjacent to primary xylem. So we thought that perhaps xylem precursors act as organizers that direct the formation of the stem cells in the adjacent cells. We confirmed that that was indeed the case and I defined also a molecular regulatory mechanism that defines the stem cell organizer. So we are focusing on this uh, kind of procambial tissue which is the very early uh, form of this uh, vascular meristem, vascular stem cell-like population. We actually discovered that this young phloem will act as important organizing centers when it's in its immature state, before fully differentiated, it actually directs the neighboring cells and makes them divide periclinally. So phloem at this very early stage acts as an organizing center. We knew that previously people had identified this kind of mobile transcription factor. Some genes are activating other genes. They are actually moving from one cell to another so that this gene which is activating other genes can be actually a mobile signal itself. And so we were, we were kind of following this hypothesis. We were systematically studying several transcription factors that are active at that early stage of phloem development. And then we found this one group of transcription factors that we call pair proteins. So they are now moving from this uh, early sieve element to the surrounding cells and, and they are promoting growth in this domain of the vascular tissue. You know, we discovered the basic principles how the stem cells are regulated the vascular cambium activity. So the next step is to understand how many plant hormones and other regulators are interacting with work that we discovered. These two studies kind of setting a new standard for looking at tree biology and, and uh, wood formation in trees. So with understanding how the cambium is organized, how the vascular meristem is organized. So that is contributing to this quantitative aspect. What is now very topical is the climate change and I, I think uh, it is now very well acknowledged that the trees are the major players when, when sequestering carbon and, and at the same time we would like to uh, make lots of wood and other products for the industry. So I think it's, it's essential to, to be able to breed uh, 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 tree species, to produce more biomass and sequester, sequester the carbon on, on, the, on the wood.